Ecological Resource Allocation, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 91. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Siebel and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 91, November 28th, 2014 edition. And as always, I'm going to be covering with pictures and video all of our team's accomplishments and progress for the last week. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content and resources that we're constantly creating, you can visit our written blog. Last but not least, uh, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can join our newsletter list by sending an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which consists of the satellite and Pioneer members, finished the first 30% of the lesson plan mind map that you can see here with the central theme of highest good. We also finished the second half of the web page sharing the highest good lesson plan specifics. Along the web page uh, line of thought, behind the scenes, we also finished the first 40% of the final content edits and revisions for the lesson plan with the central theme of movement and development. All of these lesson plans use the central theme to teach all subjects to all learning levels and are applicable in any learning environment. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished the final three breakout pages from the large-scale gardening page. These included the Casa Banana page, the Bitter Melon page, and the Asparagus page. You can see all three pages scrolling here, and you can visit the written blog or use the URLs above to visit the complete pages for all the detailed plant descriptions, planting guidelines, cultural considerations, and more. These new pages load faster and also give us the space we'll need to add recipes, gardening tips, harvesting and canning tips, and videos. Contact us if you have any great resources related to any of these plant species, because these pages will continue to develop indefinitely. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week the core team working on highest good housing completed the Tropical Atrium Heat Retention Calculations version 4.0 using yet another new software program. You can see this analysis here as we continue to assess this structure's ability to recycle and hold heat from the Earthbag Village used shower water heat. We also added all the new custom icons to the upcoming crowdfunding campaign individual page, as you can see here, and we built the initial foundations for all the associated web pages, including all these beautiful new headers. If you'd like to see what each of these pages is going to look like, you can visit the Dome Home Electrical page, 
where behind the scenes we finished a massive update that we are now waiting to post after review by a new electrician who just joined our consultants team. In addition to all this, we also finished the organizational process for the custom Murphy bed furniture. Here you can see what we've organized are all the pieces into sections and identified exactly how many boards or sheets are needed to cut all the necessary parts. This is all built off of the work of Philip Gill, interior and furniture designer and owner of Philip Gill Design. And next, we'll be organizing all these details into a purchase order list so we can accurately calculate the cost. Last but not least, Dave Wallen, architectural drafter and designer and owner of Dave Philip Wallen Design, began putting the Straw Bale Village Pod 2 updated details from last week into 3D. Here are a few screenshots of his outstanding work. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week the core team completed addition of the output section of the control systems page. You can see these new additions here, completing the foundations of this page that will be a constantly developing tutorial and information resource for the monitoring, setup, maintenance, evolution, and data gathering systems of the Duplicable City Center and the Earthbag Village Pod 1. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the team welcomed the Community Planet Foundation to our nonprofit team on Sue. If you aren't already a member, we invite you to check out Community Planet's page first using the link you see here, because joining through that link will not only support the Community Planet Foundation nonprofit, it will also support the open source ecology nonprofit, one community nonprofit, and the sustainable human nonprofit. Joining through Community Planet, you can then check out our link and visit us and connect with us there also. In addition to all this, we also featured and created new social media imagery for our Love Lesson Plan page, our Remote Internet Setup Open Source resource, our Highest Good Food Open Source portal, our page exploring the idea of creating utopia, and our open source guide sharing everything we did to set up our nonprofit. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a Highest Good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our Highest Good Society creation process. Everything one community is creating and doing really comes down to ecological resource allocation. Our idea is to build a model and open source and free share all of its components in such a way that it addresses the complete human experience. Looking at all the aspects of living as an ecological resource that is essential to address if our goal is to create complete sustainability. What this means is we're looking at all of the foundations we're open sourcing and free sharing and addressing all of them simultaneously. To begin with, this includes food, energy, housing, highest good economics, which is for-profit, non-profit business creation, as well as an entrepreneurial model. Also, open source and free shared models for education, fulfilled living models and social architecture, as well as true earth stewardship taking all of these components, all of these resources, and looking at the ecology of them with a consciousness for the highest good of all and saying that if we create this for the, for the consciousness for the highest good of all, how can we put these things out in a way that they can be used either as individual components or so that they can be combined into a complete ecological model that combines physical sustainability with emotional sustainability as an evolution of the complete sustainability concept to teach people how to build teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs anywhere in the world that teach these concepts too.
or putting them out so that people have the option to take each of these components and to implement them as individual units also. So somebody can just build themselves an aquaponics structure, or somebody could just grow some healthier food, or somebody could just implement a piece of the open source education program, or somebody could build themselves a guest home that is constructed with earth bag construction using our plans. All these little details that can be implemented individually, but if you put them together, it creates a complete self-sufficient, self-sustainable, and self-replicating teacher demonstration, teacher demonstration village city, community, or hub. We call this a solution model that is a solution creating model. Our idea is if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it as attractive enough, that's what will make this idea self-replicating. Because people will want what we provide. And the idea of putting it all together as a complete ecological model that covers all aspects of the human experience is to provide a living experience that most people will consider to be far superior to the way that they're living right now. So this is what we're up to. And if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds interesting to you, this sounds like something you'd like to participate in, we have ways that anybody can participate and help out. Everything ranging from joining our team of the people that will move onto the property and actually build all of one community to just helping out on the internet by sharing through social media networks. We believe that we are the change that we've been waiting for. And I don't just, I'm not just talking about our team, but the entire human species. We believe that the time has come for us to take a step forward and create a new world. That humanity is ready and capable, and we know that if enough people participate, we can reach that tipping point where we can positively and permanently transform the world for everyone and everything living here. So we are shooting for that lofty goal, and everything that we're doing right now, the tens of thousands of hours that our all-volunteer team has put into this project, everything that we're doing, we've already putting out hundreds of usable resources. We have a massive investment of time into the food, into the energy, into the housing, into the education, into all of these aspects that can be used right now. And all it takes is more people for us to complete these things faster. So if you're somebody that would like to join us, if you're somebody that would like to participate, please get in contact with us. If you're reading our information, if you're seeing it, you want to help out, share our information. The only way for people to understand what one community is creating is if other people help share it. So if you see what we're doing is something worthwhile in sharing, please, we are on all of the social media networks. We are most recently on Sue. We are now also on Facebook. Of course, we are on Twitter. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Reddit. We are on Tumblr. We are on Pinterest. We are on all the different social media networks because we want to make it as easy as possible for people to share the information that we have, to get it out there to the people that need it and want it most, and to make this idea of ec ecological resource allocation, this concept of complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities, and hubs, go viral. And then as we build the first version, then our goal is to invite a population of 30% of whatever the people that are, that are living there as a lifestyle, 30% more will be coming to visit and experiencing what it is one community is doing. So that the people that visit, if they like what they see, they can take all the free shared open source blueprints and go and duplicate it and build their own teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub. So this is what we're up to. Of course, the number one thing, if people always ask, like, what's the number one thing that could make one community take off to an even faster level to exponentially grow our open source creative process? And that is to help us get the property off the market. Now, for four years, we've been working with the same location, but we still don't own that location. So we've established the relationships with the county. We've designed our business model around it. We spent two years before that finding this location so it would be a location that we could share freely with the world, invite the world to come in and participate. As soon as we start land on the, as soon as we have enough infrastructure on the property to be able to support that, which is well within the first year, to start inviting people coming out to come out and visit and experience what it is, but we still haven't got that property off the market. So if you're somebody with the resources or if you're somebody who knows somebody, please share our funding page. Get the information in the hands that need it, because we believe that there are literally tens of thousands of people out there. Well, we believe that there are, there are millions of people that are interested in what it is that we're doing. Tens of millions of people that would be interested once it really takes off and gets the, the media notoriety that we would expect a project like this to, to gain and garner. But we believe that there are thousands of people out there 
that have the money to fund a project like ours or to invest in a project like ours and would be super excited to do so if they only knew that we existed. So please share our project. Help us get the information in the hands of the people that need it most. If you know people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, if you know people that are looking to transform the world, looking to make a difference, people that want to see a world that lives in, and functions on cooperation and collaboration instead of competition, people that want to contribute to an idea like that, share what it is that we're up to. And as always, thank you. Thank you to everybody who follows our progress. Thank you for everybody that shares what it is that we're doing on social media. Thank you for all the small donations. None of us at One Community are paid. We're all nonprofit volunteers. So the $5, the $10, the $50 donations that we get help pay our basic operating expenses, which are maintaining the website, maintaining all the little details and, and the open source creative process, and really it's the website infrastructure. Anything above and beyond that that we have available, we use, we're putting towards the property, putting towards the upcoming crowdfunding campaign that we're going to be doing that will share all of our details of the, of the Three Dome Cluster. And so, thank you. Thank you for following our progress. Thank you for the comments and emails that we get. Thank you for the small donations. And, uh, of course, if you'd like to be added to our new newsletter list, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel. And uh, until next week, we will continue this process, as always, ecological resource allocation and the whole idea of highest good for all creation and sharing. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.